Welcome to Douglas County Advice Givers. For those of you new to our show, this is a podcast series I created to elicit advice and tips from some of our community's brightest minds. Today, we have the fabulous Suzanne Tulane with us. Welcome, Suzanne. Thanks for having me, Darla. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Suzanne is the founder of Brand Ascension Group. She is also a local author and speaker. I met Suzanne a few months ago at a conference where she was an expert speaker. You know, I'm I I'm a readaholic. <laughs> okay, yeah. I I love reading even in my downtime when I'm on vacation, I love reading industry books. And then then like self-help, you know, motivation books or spiritual books. But um, one of my favorites I've been following, he happens to be a, a client of mine from way back when. His name is Dr. Joseph Michelli. And his most recent book is called Driven to Delight. And what he does, this is the Mercedes experience. And it's really cool what he's kind of done over the years with the books he's written. He's taking companies like Starbucks. He wrote the Starbucks experience. Mm -hmm. uh, when fish fly, you know, the, the Seattle fish company. Yes. Yep. He, and so he goes into these companies and researches them and then, you know, kind of uh, explores and unfolds, tells the story of what makes them so great and details it out. So he's on that customer service side and I'm on the brand side. So we're very closely related in, in the things that we look at, that we pay attention to, that we, we like to help our companies with. So and let's I'm, talk a little bit about that for a minute. Okay. Let's talk about the multisensorial experience, right? Multisensorial. Okay. So what do I mean by that? I think we talked a little bit about that in the session, in the conference. Do you remember? Well, I mean, I can guess, I don't, don't quite remember, but I can just guess that it would touch on all of the senses yes. <laughs> or, or one or two at least. <laughs> yes. And that was part of the activity I think I did with you guys. And terms of if you were a genre of music, if your brand were represented by a genre of music, what music would that be? What's what genre and why? And then, you know, applying yeah. that then to your as your brand sound. So if you were to have retail space or some space okay. where you would invite your clients and that's the the genre you would play. And then everybody has a brand, whether whether you're in control of it or not. You right. Still have brand <laughs> That's true. Yeah, because it's just a perception. So if you want to take control of your brand, take control of the perceptions that others have of you, then it's time to start getting conscious, strategic, and deliberate in doing it. <laughs> 